So hello and welcome to yet another edition of Helium Hacks Happy Hour. Uh, my name is Travis. Uh, I go by TT on Discord. And I see a lot of friendly, familiar faces here. I'm glad everyone was able to make it. And we've got some uh, folks ro rolling in right now, but we have a special uh, treat this week. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put this at the top of the hour right now. So I'm going to hand this over to Dal. You may know him as Cyborg on Discord. And uh, Dal has joined us. Thank you, Dal. To uh, introduce some of the new and upcoming features of the Helium console. So um, we want to respect your time. Thank you very much for, uh, uh, for meeting with us today. And I'm just going to go ahead and hand this over to you and let you take it away, man. OK, uh, thanks, Travis. Welcome Helium Happy Hour Hacks crew. Um, I do often jump on this and kind of stay in the background though, fly on the wall, so to speak. Um, what I wanted to do was I, I had asked Travis if I could uh, have a few minutes and I really wanted to show you guys um, kind of where we're headed in terms of uh, the UI. Um, you know, last year we put in a, a lot of features and functionality and the, the team worked uh, quite hard and, you know, we have a pretty good cadence in terms of uh, rolling out features. But, um, you know, what we've discovered is along with all those capabilities that we're adding, we're also adding complexity. And so we want to address that head on. Um, and so what I'm about to show you is just a very early sneak preview of uh, what we are, kind of the direction that we're headed. Um, and it's not really, you know, if you, if you have feedback for me, uh, you know, feel free to put in the console Discord channel. Um, but it, this isn't really meant to solicit feedback. This is just, you know, you guys are kind of the tip of the spear, so to speak. Um, and I just wanted to share this with you in, in terms of give you an idea of the direction that we're headed. So <clears throat> without further ado, I'm gonna share my screen. All right, can you guys see my screen? Looks good. All right, um, so I wanna set the expectation up front, like do not expect this in, so just to set the expectation, this is not going to be in the release tomorrow or, I'm, and I'm not even saying that it'll be in the release next sprint, um, but I did wanna show where we're headed. So this is, um, if you'll notice, there is a new menu item called flows and with a beta tag. And when we do release this, this will be uh, as beta. Um, and so we will vision as beta for a number of versions for a couple of reasons. One is uh, we're going to continue to add features and functionality. Um, we want you guys to get used to it and educated on, on this new flow of, of doing things because it's going to be very different. Uh, so <clears throat> this is kind of the foundation of where we're headed. Uh, the yellow is labels and we still probably will do some styling on this, but just to help orient yourself, yellow is labels. The nodes with the two down arrows, these are functions, and then the other ones are integrations. And so the idea is that you will, both from a, from a visual perspective, you will be able to see these connections that you've made. Um, and it will be immediately obvious, you know, which labels are attached to which functions and which integrations. Um, and of course you will be able to manipulate these create new connections. And, you know, we're really trying to reduce the friction and make it very simple to be able to identify, you know, what labels have I got? What are those connections with these functions and with these integrations? So this is just kind of the first step in, in a long journey, but 
it's it's exciting for us. This is going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of big developments uh, on console. You know, the first year, last year, we the team worked really hard. We laid a really good foundation. We got a better understanding. We feel of, of the users and, and what you guys want to do with console. Uh, and so this is you know, take building on that and and coming up with something that we think will be, you know, taking us to the next level. So that is uh, really, Travis, that's what I wanted to share with, with the community. We'll open up for some quick questions, potentially, and then uh, I got to get ready for the, uh, for the release tomorrow. This looks go like it's going to go a long ways towards making labels and integrations and all that stuff much more apparent. So it's super exciting to see. Thanks, Ray. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's, that's the point, right? We don't want you guys to have to do mental gymnastics in terms of label function integration. Which one did I use there? And, and this, yeah. you can, you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to drag it and re make new kind of flows or pipelines of, of data. I can even imagine little sort of sparkline representations of sort of the connected parts uh, in other parts of the app too. So it's like, you know, it's more like quick reference, not editable stuff. Like, I don't know, super exciting. It's just that that visual part of it, I think it's gonna help a lot. Thanks. And the labels are, are incredibly powerful, um, but they can get a little confusing as you're, you know, tying functions, integrations, devices, everything together. And so I think having a visual workflow is really going to help clarify um, and solidify those ideas, uh, you know, with a lot of developers. So now this is fantastic. This, this looks great, Dell. Yeah, I think, again, this is just like very early stages. Um, you know, you can imagine you would be able to select a, a, a node and like a properties pane or something would show up and you could, you could make adjustments there. Um, so very early stages, I just thought New Year, thought I'd like to give you guys a treat, give you a, a sneak peek, so to speak, um, and just keep excited about what, what's coming down the pipeline for, for console. Uh, is one of the symbols on there representing a device? No. Like a, which, which one? No, there isn't. Oh no, there isn't. Okay, okay. No. And would there be no. any thought, like, if could one use these? Like, let's say you double click on one of them, does that take you to the configuration screen for that whatever element you clicked it on? Yeah, that's the idea. Okay. Yeah, you would be able to get the properties for these different nodes and make adjustments. Is this a con like a so, concurrent flow builder, or are you looking at this as like a alternative way of creating relationships? Like, will code based relationships be reflected in a visual flow, and and can you switch between those modes, or is it sort of you yeah. you build in one? No, no, it would. So the the relationships that you would build in this interface would be reflected in elsewhere in console. Yeah or else we'd be opening up a big can of worms and that would not, not be good. You'd be surprised but, how many um, products are built like that though. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, oh, cool. I uh, wanted to say um, again, thanks to all the community for uh, all your guys' involvement and participation. We, we really appreciate it. I'm sure Travis tells you a lot, but we definitely appreciate it. Uh, in the new year, I'm going to, to make more of an effort to come on and talk more about uh, console. I'm thinking I'll talk to Travis about it in terms of where it fits in with the schedule. But, um, you know, when we have a, like a week after we have a release, maybe coming on and just doing a quick highlight. So, you know, some of the new key, key features that were that we uh, we've added. So you guys are kind of always seeing the latest and greatest and uh yeah, I think that, Travis, we can talk about it offline, but I think that might be yeah, helpful. That sounds good, or come on a week early and let us know about it. So, uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of things can happen in a week, Travis. Come on. Absolutely. And you're always welcome on here. And Dal, thanks again for uh, dropping in. I know you're rushed uh, to get things out the door for tomorrow, but um, you're always welcome over here. Uh, we'd love to have you. And thank you very much for showing over Off the New Flows beta. Uh, we're excited about it. Uh, you're welcome. And, uh, you know, we, we, uh, 
we're looking forward to 2021. We've, we've got a, a lot of really interesting things. Um, this is obviously a big one, but, um, you know, for us, we have some very clear goals in terms of, you know, increasing usage um, and increasing the value of the network, which uh, benefits everybody. So uh, with that, I will leave you to your regular schedule program. And uh, Travis, thanks again for having me on. Del, yeah. always. Thanks a lot, man. Take care, bud. Thanks, guys.